What makes you feel good? What floats your boat and makes your steps lighter? What puts a smile on your face without fail and make even your Monday blues disappear? Those are the kind of positive vibes we want to focus on because from this point and on, it's good vibes only. On Good Vibes Only, we invite some good people into the studio to talk about good things only. And that is, whatever makes us feel happy, whether it's foods, moods, hoods, or goods. And today's good person with the good vibes is YouTuber, blogger, influencer, lecturer, and content creator, Rachel Energy! Hello! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Hello and welcome, and thank you so much for joining us on the show on Wonder Hours with him. Thank you. And could you start by introducing yourself to our global listeners? Hi guys, I'm Rachel Energy. I'm a full-time content creator and I do like lifestyle stuff and I teach like hip, trendy, like, you know, English that's away from like the traditional stuff. And you may think, oh, education boring, but I try to keep it fun and I try to teach it in more like a, you know, like a girl next door, mm -hmm. like your Anni or Luna. So it's more of a casual type of English thing. I think so. that's what people like about mm -hmm. your content because it's so like girl next door, mm -hmm. you can relate to it and it's fun. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, most importantly, <laughs> it's fun. It's not another, you know, textbook yeah. English. Mm -hmm. We're tired of that. Yeah. We need something different and yeah. something we can use on a daily basis, mm -hmm. right? Yes, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel you yeah. totally. So you were working for a pharmaceutical company in Korea? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then created online and then you started creating online content. Mm -hmm. So it's a completely different field. Can you tell us about that? Like what yeah. happened? Well, it's a long story, but I'll keep it short. Okay. So I originally had a, um, I studied law, law in undergrad <gasps> because I wanted to become like a sports agent because I'm an avid sports fan. Wow. So back before it was soccer, but now it's baseball. So that's why I chose my law degree. But then, um, Law wasn't really my thing because my Korean was sort of like, it's okay, but it's not perfect because of like the hunter stuff. Uh -huh. So it's oh. like, yeah, you know. It's painful, I know. Yeah. So it's like, you know. I regret not studying hunter. <laughs> yes, I was same. so lazy. Same, mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, I was like, oh, it's okay. I have my English stuff. So I was like, let's do international relations. And I actually got my master's in international relations mm -hmm. and I got and I actually um, wrote a thesis on the LA Dodgers and um, their Instagram fan engagement so technically I sort of manifested this mm -hmm. back when I was in, doing my master's and then I was like uh, you know maybe I should go abroad do like studies in sports or whatever um, but then the pandemic hit Oh, so, you no. know, international relations, no, nothing, world mm -hmm. is ending, that kind of vibe. So I was like, oh, okay, my life is ruined. So you were planning to go mm -hmm. abroad, but then uh, that kind of got yeah. cancelled. So that mm -hmm. kind of got cancelled, and I was like, oh, what should I do with my life? And then I was like, what is my actual dream in life? And since I've been growing up watching, like, YouTube beauty gurus, I was like, maybe I want to become an influencer or, like, a YouTuber. Oh, so wow. I actually bought a camera and tried, like, makeup tutorials and stuff. But that failed miserably. I had like, I like, <laughs> I was like, um, literally like editing for like ten hours. But I oh get my like, gosh, I've been there. Because mm -hmm. really? when I first started my YouTube channel, I, mean, um, I have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. too. I'm not really working um. on it right now. But then, I did my own edits, mm -hmm. and it took me a whole day. Yeah. Because I did my edits mm -hmm. and also did the subtitles, mm -hmm. and that took a pretty long time yeah. too. I was subtitle. I was writing the subtitles mm -hmm. for what I said, but oh. that was. The, yeah. Not easy to. Yeah. It takes a lot of time. Yeah, but at least you probably you pr you probably got views. But I got like 17 views. Oh. And among the 10 were me, my mm -hmm. mom's phone, my friend's phone and stuff. Oh, yeah. So I was like, oh, this is not working. I don't think my influencer career is going to kick off. Mm -hmm. So I was like, eh, maybe I should do something else. And then since I bought a camera, I was like, why not do like other stuff? And I did Naver blog actually. Uh -huh. And then I Are did... you still working on that? Oh, not really right mm -hmm. now, but like it was okay. And... I was getting like free meals and stuff, but it oh. wasn't like paying the bills or anything. So I was like, oh, I should, you know, get back to reality and whatever, do something. But still, corporates weren't hiring people, they were just laying off people. So I was mm. like, you know, maybe I have to change my career path or something. And my cousin actually works in a pharmaceutical company. Oh. And she was like, lots of companies are trying to 
do like FDA work and stuff. And since you have like a degree in law and you know like English and Korean and both of that, why not try you know something else? Like try pharmaceutical stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I actually went to a biopharmaceutical company. And how was that? Oh, it was actually good. I actually wow. like learning. It, it seems like you, yeah. you have such talents in such different fields. Oh, no, actually, I, it was bad. I was bad at it because, like, bio and my, I'm bad at math and numbers. Oh, yay! So, yeah, we can yeah. be friends! Yes, yes, okay. So, with our numbers, I have to write down everything. So oh, my like, gosh. Yeah. I, I get so small when, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about numbers. Yeah. Once numbers come, it's like... And then I can't hear anything. Yeah, so. it's like my, my ears just yeah. can't hear. It's like blocked. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm trying to focus, but I don't know what you're I saying. I know. Right? It's like, yeah, you got the vibes. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, um, and then I was like, uh, and then uh, it, w it went good. It was okay. I was learning every day. And then I worked there for over two years, actually. Oh, but so then, that's yeah, still quite it was, long. It was quite long, but mm -hmm. it was okay. Um, work was all right. And then um, a senior came in. And she made my life miserable. Oh no! Typical story, actually. Oh. So you know, I was like having mental breakdowns on a daily basis. There was my coworkers didn't really like me. There was a uh, if if you're a TikTok like um, OG, then you'd know that there's an I hate Rachel club at my corporate job. What? Yeah, that? it's like my team literally hated me. Like my other two coworkers, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but like it's so stressful when mm -hmm. there's like even just one person that. Mm -hmm doesn't like you, right? Yeah, but it's like two or three people. Mm -hmm. So just sitting at that office was like torture. Of course. Yeah. It's not about the work, but mm -hmm. it's always about the people, yeah. right? I never knew about that. But yeah. like, I was like, you know, it's okay. I have a strong mind. It's good. But, you know, I guess it wasn't. Uh -huh. So it was really overwhelming and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I used to actually post on TikTok because, you know, how like in other countries, TikTok is popping off. Yeah. And it I still like, is, right? Yeah, it mm -hmm. still is, technically. So... You know, um, I was doing daily rants on work and like what it's like in life in Korea. And it was doing actually OK, because I, I, I first actually started TikTok because everyone had this like huge fantasy, like saying like, you know, like everyone in the streets in Korea, like is Jungkook. But, you know, oh Jungkook, BTS Jungkook. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, guys, that's not it. And then I was, like, just talking about reality. Oh. And that's how it got sort of popular. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but I couldn't do so it for a living. So you shared your Korean mm -hmm. uh, lifestyle, yeah, yeah, Korean yeah, yeah. story. Uh -huh. and that's how your um, TikTok yeah. page got popular? Yeah, it got popular. However, it wasn't going to pay the bills. And then I was just working in corporate, and I was trying to climb the corporate ladder. Hmm. But then, uh, since the, my, my new senior was making my life miserable, I was like, maybe I should do something else and mm -hmm. I actually made a TikTok saying I need to become an influencer I want to quit my job mm -hmm. and then, I'm glad you uh, yeah. overcame it yeah and now you moved on with your life mm -hmm. and I like that I uh, really love the fact that you kept searching for mm -hmm. like what's next like what mm -hmm. do I want mm -hmm. you know you were you didn't just stop there and mm -hmm. just you yeah. know just stop but mm -hmm. you kept moving forward mm -hmm. searching for what you want at night Love that Aww. about you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I posted like an Instagram reel because reels were so sort of popular then. And then I was like, what What are people interested in in Korea? And it was usually MZ stuff. Yeah. <laughs> English. <laughs> Please teach me some. I feel so outdated. And being trendy. So. Oh, I learned one yesterday. Yeah. What was what, which one? Yeah, I, I had a lecture yesterday mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. There were elementary students. Uh -huh. I asked them, "What's the most trending, like recent heart?" Because mm -hmm. you know, hearts are keep changing. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. They would do this little heart, mm -hmm. and then this uh, cheek, yeah. cheeks heart. Mm -hmm. And now this, apparently, I don't know what this is called, but this heart is trending. It's like oh. they do it like this. How, how is that? Oh. So you can see two hearts. So a, this makes two hearts. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's what the elementary students taught me yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotta, gotta stay hit for the yeah. kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, and what else? Yeah, and then um, and then my actually my second like Instagram reel sort of blew up. And oh, it, what was it about? It was just like literally me after work walking in the streets saying. I'll tell you all the hip slang that the kids use these days, and it was like slay, pop off, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I guess people were like, wow, who is this girl? Why mm -hmm. is she talking so casually? Because usually for English like stuff, it's always like lecture. Mm 
mm -hmm. and stuff, and it was very casual, and it's so not like... So you would you're... teach like, English slangs, slangs and yeah. trending mm -hmm. things. And I would say, like, people are saying it's giving, that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. I guess it got popular, and then I got, like, different, like, brand deals and offers, and I was like, wow. maybe I should try this, since my current job is making me miserable, and it wasn't my dream job, so I was like, why not try this? And Did you think it was going to become this big? Actually, no. Oh. <laughs> when I quit my job, I thought I would just do this for six months, and you know, it would be a line on my resume, so I could go to another like corporate or something. Mm -hmm. So if I failed, I could go to another corporate. So I thought it wouldn't be this big, but now I'm just very enjoying it, very grateful, and very just enjoying life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so was there a moment that made you go, "Oh, I made it"? Oh. <laughs> well, well, the first time I actually was um, th that I thought that oh I made it was when I went to a Meta and Netflix like event mm -hmm. for a release of their new show, and my favorite um, actor of all time is Song Seung Hyun. Song Seung Hyun, she yeah. yeah. And oh, I saw the photo on your Instagram yes, it's, page. It's pinned. Yeah, it's pinned. <laughs> it's, it's an honor. So <laughs> yeah, and I saw him and I was like, oh my god, this is like. I feel like I made it. It's like, a dream come true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time. And the second time was back in November um, when I went to um, a Meta event and it was to discover Hong Kong. <gasps> So oh, I grew up in Hong Kong. Yes, I know. Wow. So I'm actually like fangirling inside right now. But, like I know all about you. So, <laughs> so yeah. Oh, Hong mm -hmm. Kong. Yeah. So now yeah. Hong Kong is my new like personality trait because I love Hong Kong and I love the vibes and everything. The so. food is amazing. Yes. Everything is so chill. Mm -hmm. yeah, I it's love very Hong chill. Kong too. <laughs> Yeah, so what is, uh, can you tell us what are some pro of the pros and cons of a full-time content creator? What um, is it like? Yeah, a lot of people actually ask me what are the pros and yeah, cons. I'm sure yeah. they have pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Well, the pro is, of course, it's flexible. There's lots of freedom. You don't have to work a nine to six job. Mm -hmm. You don't have to commute. You can literally work anywhere. But, of course, there are cons and there's no feedback for example. Oh. Like, I was always used to getting feedback from tests, from professors, from my, like, co-workers, from my senior manager, whatever, mm -hmm. but now there is no feedback. Of course, there are, like, comments, mm -hmm. but you know how Koreans tend to be very, like, you know, very quiet. They don't really talk much in the comments, but, of course, there are, like, bad comments sometimes, mm. but it's, like, Okay, <laughs> so what? Yeah. And it doesn't really affect me. So, but there's like no like good feedback or bad feedback. And it, sometimes it's like, am I doing stuff okay? Is mm. this fun? Is this okay? And sometimes it, it might be like confusing to me. And another um, con is the instability of income. That's, yeah, I think yeah. that's a big <laughs> con. Yeah. For, mm -hmm. I think that's one for all like freelancers yeah. and like people that are doing their own business. But like, you never know when you're gonna get a you're gonna get like a job or exactly. like a pay, and you don't know which video is gonna blow up. Yes, which which was gonna mm -hmm. do well, which was not. Mm -hmm. Just so unstable. Yeah, right? it's a total gamble. So. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to take a quick song break before we chat a little bit more with Rachel. And we asked Rachel to pick some songs for us today. And the first one of her picks we are going to listen to is Why So Lonely by The Wonder Girls. We just heard Why So Lonely by The Wonder Girls. So why did you choose this song as your first song? Well, you know, I'm with you, so that's, that's also one reason, but also because um, I feel like living in Seoul, it's very hectic and there's lots of people, but sometimes you do feel lonely and whenever I feel oh. down, I just listen to this song and it sometimes like energizes me. So, oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank <laughs> I you. love this song too. <laughs> Good song choice. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at some comments oh, from okay. our listeners. Santi, Susanti says, Hello, DJ Harim and Nuna. Hi. Hi. 
Are you sure Rachel is Nuna? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you sure? <laughs> we don't know how old Rachel is. Yeah. I saw on your YouTube channel that mm -hmm. you don't like to be asked that question. Yeah, and you're 99, you're just yeah. going to be 99 yeah. years old. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> right, and Johnny says, as somebody who's been stuck in corporate culture for decades, I'm always happy to see people that escape to be creative full time. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Johnny. And Dory Life says, Rachel Energy is the first creator I followed for my English studies. And I'm so happy she's on Wonder Hours. I really like how you teach us practical and useful expression with your bold and cool attitude. It's particularly easy to get, to get lethargic and unmotivated these days. Are there any English expressions that might help us power up? Well, I think... Um, do you know the saying, like, I think it's like a famous, like, thing from Rihanna. She said in an interview, she was like, fake it till you make it. Fake it till you, till till you, you make, make it. it. Oh, I love yeah. that phase. Yeah. Fake it till mm -hmm. you make it. Whatever that it is, just fake it till you make it. Yeah. I love that too. Mm -hmm. I, I say that all the time mm -hmm. as well. And whenever I feel uncon not confident, mm -hmm. I always think to myself, fake it till you make it, mm -hmm. like when I'm doing presentations or lectures, mm -hmm. right? It really helps yeah. to help to have such motto or a phrase mm -hmm. in your mind. <laughs> and Unzip S says, Rachel Energy Name, welcome to Wonder Hours. Looking forward to your good vibes. Can you share with us one expression that's perfect for these days? Well, well, I'm here right now, like, <laughs> and I'm fangirling inside, and I just, I guess I, I can say, I'm on cloud nine. Ah, yeah, I'm on so, cloud nine. Yeah, cloud nine. Jot that down. <laughs> on zip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. And next question, where do you get ideas for your content? Oh, so, um, if you have seen my content, then you see that it's very, like, out of the blue, and I film in the streets, or, like, literally anywhere and that's because that's I just if I get an idea I just film right away so, yeah without it's, planning uh-huh ah. so I don't have like a script I don't have like planning and I that's just, why you're MBTIP yeah totally <laughs> we were talking totally. about that on a break <laughs> oh, I see uh, so just life in general mm. Mm -hmm. so if you have an idea you just do it right away mm -hmm. that's good I like to plan things ahead mm -hmm. and I need my script. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a team working with you or do you edit all the videos yourself? Oh, uh, so I'm, I, I'm doing it everything myself. You do everything yourself? Yeah, but your I do. YouTube channel mm -hmm. and your uh, other SNS, SNS pages too? Yes, <gasps> all of my socials well, I do myself. Tough. But you know, it's like I'm not that big yet to have a team. So I'm trying to stay mm trying to do it myself for first now. for now hopefully if i you know get bigger then i'll of course you'll yeah. need a, mm -hmm. a team then yeah let's fingers crossed fingers on crossed. that <laughs> but you know as of now i'm doing it myself and it's manageable and it's okay and i enjoy it so so what are your main two sns platforms that you use youtube and um in instagram mm -hmm. probably my main would be like instagram and then it'd be like tiktok maybe and then ah, YouTube, because my YouTube, like, it's not going well, sort of, <laughs> compared to other stuff. I so. saw your YouTube channel, but I, it's more about your daily lifestyle, yeah. more, more than just English, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's correct. So it's a little bit different from your Insta page. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so the phrases that you teach are what young people would actually use in mm -hmm. real life, right? Rather than being textbook English. Mm -hmm. And we love you for that. <laughs> for example, Takakajima could be translated into don't flatter yourself, but you teach people the term trip in and dilulu. 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 <laughs> Living in Korea, how do you keep up with the latest hip and trending terms? Well, I consume a lot of English content. So you know how, you know, like the, like how, for example, you were telling me about like the latest heart. Oh, yeah. How do you know that? Because you talk to Koreans mm -hmm. and you see it on TV, like this kind of stuff. Yeah. You don't search for it. You don't say latest trend in Korea. Well, you can, not judging you if you do that, but it's just, you just know it like naturally. The same goes for my English content stuff as well. But how do you find that in Korea? In Korea, I just watch all of like the um, vlogs and like TikToks and short forms, like reels, all in English. 
Wow, that you must be so busy <laughs> catching up on all these latest trends. Oh, uh, actually, I don't try to catch up. Mm -hmm. I just like watch it on a daily basis, just for fun. And just and for you fun. Just yeah. Learn it there. I just mm. learn what the LA girlies are doing and like what people in the states are doing, what people in Hong Kong are doing, and they're like, oh, they use giving like that kind of stuff, and then mm. it just catches on to me. So. See, so, so puts it on me. All right, it's time for some more song picks by Rachel. Next up are Butter by BTS and Sono Gong Super by Seventeen. We just heard Seventeen with Sono Gong Super, and before that, it was BTS and their song Butter. And if you're just tuning in, I'm joined by content creator and influencer Rachel Energy for this week's Good Vibes Only. So we did ask you to choose some K-pop songs for us, but do you also keep up with English songs? Oh yes, of course, of course. What's some of your favorite? Um, songs? I actually love Sabrina Carpenter. I don't know oh, if you. Oh yeah. Yeah, she just released this new song like a few days ago. I think it was yesterday, maybe. Mm. And it's espresso. You should all check it out. It has a lot of like. I love the title. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very summer song. You know. Oh. You know how there's like a summer hit. I feel like that's gonna be it. So. Mm -hmm. Now, are there are they ever useful sources for expressions to make contents about? Oh yeah, it is totally because it has all of like the vibes and like how people speak because you know, textbook stuff is very different from how people actually talk. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's very useful, and I try to incorporate that into my content as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm also curious, what's the latest fun, exp fun English expression you recently picked up? Oh, the latest fun one. Mm -hmm. hmm. Or how about a weird expression? <laughs> or a weird expression. Mm, I think there was one like sort of similar. You, have you seen Mean Girls? Yes. You know how there's one that, that's like fetch? Oh, that's so fetch. Yeah, that's so fetch. Yeah. So it was <laughs> Do people really use that? No, no. not really. But so it, it was a Mean Girls thing? Yeah, it was a Mean Girls thing. Oh. But sort of like how fetch, you don't really know what fetch means. Mm -hmm. The same goes for preppy. Preppy? Yeah. Mm. So you know how preppy... In, style? Yeah, we think style, but uh -huh. now the... Zillennial, the Gen Zs are saying that's so preppy, but in a bad way. In a bad way. Yeah. Oh. So it's like, oh, why? So why? Yeah. Mm, okay, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's like I guess it's a like a Gen Z thing. So, so if somebody tells me mm -hmm. that's so preppy, so yeah. that's a bad comment. Yeah, I think it's because mm. their face is like oh, that's so preppy. Oh, it's you like, need that yeah. attitude, yeah. that face. Yeah, that's <laughs> so preppy. Then it's not. It's you know for sure it's not a compliment. <laughs> but what does it mean? You know, like that kind of. Thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, and we also have a couple more messages from YouTube. Claire says, "What's your MBTIs? Please mm -hmm. tell us." Would you? Uh, so I'm I'm an ESFP. 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 And I'm ISFJ. Yeah, so we're quite similar but yeah. different. Yeah. Too similar, <laughs> too different. <laughs> and Claire also asked us, Rachel Energy is so cool. Can you give us tips on how to be so cool and creative? Where do you get your inspiration from? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I think I'm cool. Like, yeah, yeah, she has such great energy. Oh. So perfect for this segment. Oh, thank you. Good vibes only. Yeah, good mm -hmm. vibes. I try to be, I try to go as like that, you know, laid back, cool, cool girl, but like very much, you know, giving good vibes, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And um, my inspiration, I guess it's just from living life and trying to work my hardest. Everyone's, you know, fighting their own battles so yeah. why not just try to enjoy the ride because we're gonna it's gonna be a long time so yeah. Mm -hmm. uh yeah we always have try we always try to have fun mm -hmm. when we're working but still still i'm sure you still experience burnout mm -hmm. while creating content especially because you're doing everything by yourself uh, yeah. so sometimes you might you must feel uh, like exhausted mm -hmm. oh yeah i um so how do you overcome it yeah, I hate to admit it, but sometimes that is like I guess sometimes do get burnout. But then I remind myself, if you're not gonna do this, then you have to go back to corporate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> because you know, like, what are you gonna do with your life? You so that's how you would overcome mm -hmm. it. Uh -huh. I'd be like, and then of course I'm so grateful for my current life right now and being a content creator and being flexible and everything. So does it feel like the right 
job or the right thing for you? Yes, I feel like it's a perfect job for me mm -hmm. because I'm, even though I am like very spontaneous, I sometimes, you know, when I need to be on schedule and plan stuff, I do that. So, yeah. or, you know, and if I um, also get burnout, I also travel. So, so when you're uh, stressed out, you mm -hmm. would travel? Yeah, I would travel or pl make plans so that I'm like, oh, next week I'm going to go to here, so that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. um, my friend, who's also a content creator, Jiyoung's Korean, um, she and I hit it off very much, like in Hong Kong, in the Hong Kong trip back in November. And we said like 2024 is going to be our travel year. And that oh. is true because I've been traveling like every month. So Every month? Yeah. By yourself or with um, with else? with a friend or with my mom or whoever. So yeah. Do you travel by yourself too? Oh, not not by myself actually because because some people really yeah. likes to travel alone. Yeah, but I can't. I could never. I, I can't do the that. responsibilities <laughs> too much. Yeah. I, I am too scared. Yeah, and mm. and bored. Yeah. Who, who am I going to talk to? Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think sometimes, like, I would like to try traveling mm -hmm. by myself mm -hmm. at least once. To see how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your goals as a content creator? Um, well, for my goals right now is to do this in the long run. But like the reason I'm actually making content, like my main like reason for making content is to make English fun. Hmm. And for people, please for, make it fun. For, yes. yes, I mean you're already doing a great oh, job. Thank you. <laughs> and for Koreans to actually be confident when using English. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Wrong. <laughs> I know, right? Because like, we spend so, many, so much money on English, but like, yeah. yeah. So many people ask me the same mm -hmm. question, like, Yongo, how do you learn mm -hmm. English? Or to right? Mm -hmm. You get mm -hmm. that question yes, too. Yes, of course. But I think it's important. I mean, we already have so much input. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to output, yes. use it, mm -hmm. right? Don't just keep it to yeah. yourself, but use, use it. it. Even though you make mistakes, mm -hmm. just go ahead and... Yeah. No, no one's so going right? to judge. Yeah. yeah. Just because you said, oh, instead of the... No one's mm -hmm. going to say, mm, I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no one's going to do that. So just, you know, be confident. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's my goal as a content creator, for people to actually enjoy, enjoy English. That's so important. You mm -hmm. need you need to enjoy it in order to do it for a long time, mm -hmm. or else yeah, right? you'll, you'll, you'll get sick you'll of get, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, it's time for another song break, and this time, could you introduce the songs for us? Oh wow, it's an honor. <laughs> so um, let's listen to Jesse with Gum, followed by Blackpink and their song, Kill This Love. We just heard Kill This Love by Blackpink and Gum by Jessie before that. Ooh, such powerful songs. Yes. Girl bosses. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think the songs that you picked for us today really shows what kind of person yeah. you are. <laughs> <laughs> the song choices sh tell, tells us. It's very fierce. Yeah, it's yeah. very fierce and you have so much energy. Yeah. Sono Gong by 17. Or Jessie and Blackpink. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ah. <laughs> Mm hmm I see. I hear you. So, uh, what do you do when you're not filming? Uh, before this question, let's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's fine. Let's uh, read some comments uh -huh. from our listeners. Alex S. says, I want to be like you. Oh, thank you. Thank Are you, you sure, though? Like, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> And Taipei Wern says English is so hard to learn. And grammar, grammar is toughest in my opinion. What do you think, well, Rachel? Yeah, grammar is tough, but you know. Yeah, that's hard. But to be mm -hmm. honest, like in, in your mother tongue, are you grammatically always correct? No. No. <laughs> no. Like so, so don't think too much about it. Don't think too much it? about mm. it. Just getting your point across is the main thing, I think. Mm -hmm. And you said you get a lot, or we both get mm -hmm. lots of questions about how do you uh, learn English? Mm -hmm. like, how do you do it well? Mm -hmm. What would be your main like top three advice? I the would, most important things? First would be to not be obsessed over grammar. <laughs> <laughs> so the second would be to be confident because mm -hmm. there are people that 
can speak better English than you, but then at the same time, there are people that can speak, that cannot speak English as well as you. Mm -hmm. So be confident, who cares? And the third one would be to practice it every day if you can, like to read or to write or to speak. Oh, yeah. yeah. And to add on to that, mm -hmm. to have fun. Yes. You need to enjoy what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And fun the, f find a, the right way for you. It's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. And on your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. I, I watched the video that, and where you said you write on your diary every day. Oh, yes, I do. In English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's, that's you know, free practice. Mm -hmm. for that's a good way. Mm -hmm. I, I suggest that mm -hmm. a lot, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, mm -hmm. as I was watching your video, I was inspired to start oh. writing. So I began writing oh, really? my diary in English. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. So thank you. Yeah. For your journaling. Yeah. You're uh, a journaler now. I used to write on my diary every single day. Oh, okay. But now I got too busy and, and mm -hmm. lazy. <laughs> no time for journaling. But yes, I will uh, write it in mm -hmm. English. We mm -hmm. should all do that. Mm -hmm. And Johnny says, I watched a linguist. Uh, point out all the way native English speakers say things wrong and I have to think yes We do that and it sounds strange when somebody enunciates correctly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Johnny also wrote earlier <laughs> back in my old days Preppy would be related to the snobbier elitist kids. Maybe it came back around mm. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, maybe maybe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always thought of the word preppy as like like we talked about, mm -hmm. just fashion-related yeah, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. word, but I guess it has more meaning to it. Yeah. And so, so being a content creator, you're basically your own employer. Mm -hmm. So how do you enforce a structure on yourself? And how do you keep up with your daily routines without having to go to work by 9 and get off by 5? Oh, so... Oh, well, it's curious. It's 9 to 6, to be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... Um, even though I am a content creator, you may think, oh, she's like, you know, she can sleep in or whatever. But that's not the case because usually when I am talking to like other brands, since they are working in corporate, they usually go by a nine to, five, nine to six yeah. schedule. So you have to be awake and working or like nearby, nearby like a computer or, or at least your phone so that you can communicate with them. And so I guess I just try to stay humble and then try to like, make sure I don't get too, like, what do you call it? Too, like, um, get it into my head. Get to get, mm -hmm. I, I try not to get a big head that, oh, it, I'm Rachel. Like, I, I try not to do that. And yeah. I try to keep, like, you know, humble and down to earth and try to, like, also work a nine to six schedule sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you keep a daily mm -hmm. routine. Mm -hmm. yes, That's I important. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have, it planned out, you're just gonna be in bed. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't want that. Yeah. So, what do you do when you're not filming? Oh, okay. So, well, um, I film everywhere and anywhere, actually. Do you do, do you film every day? Um, it depends. Mm -hmm. It depends. Like, only when you have inspiration. Yeah. But usually, that's, that is, I try, I try to film every day just to see how, like, I can use this for, like, other stuff. And how often do you post? Oh, I post like two times every day on Instagram. So you have a regular schedule on mm -hmm. that, like two times a day. Um, no, it depends. It's I'm very I'm I'm very much a spontaneous person. So sometimes I post three times, sometimes I post one time. It depends on because they mood. say that on uh, SNS you need to have a like a consistent oh, schedule. Yeah, what do you yeah, think yeah. about that? Oh no, <laughs> they're trying <laughs> Not to for sell. You. You. No, they're trying to sell <laughs> sell their. Item I or try whatever. doing it consistently, mm -hmm. like once a week mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel, but. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I, I didn't have a good content, but just because of the, you know, oh, the really? scheduled time, I would just upload something that I wasn't mm, really happy about at times, oh. but because we had a set schedule. Uh -huh. yeah. Or maybe it's because like, you know how they always say that the things that are in your drafts, yeah. maybe the ones that may be popping off. So mm -hmm. Who knows? We never know with social media, so... Yeah, it's so <laughs> unpredictable. You don't know where it's going to go, right? <laughs> yeah. And where do you usually hang out in Korea? Oh. Do you have, like, a favorite spot? Um, I usually go wherever my friends want to go to because I have, since I've lived here since my childhood, um, I have a lot of Korean friends mm -hmm. and they know all of the new, like, the hot hip places. places. So <laughs> where, I just where would you them. recommend for our uh, visitors? Oh, if you're a visitor, then, not, then a non touristy place 
like, don't go to Myeongdong. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, like, Myeongdong is very touristy, but, like, um, actually, my, this weekend, my friend um, from the Philippines, Arshi, if you're watching this, um, he came and he was like, oh, like, where, 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 are the, where do all the locals go? And uh. he, I was like, oh, let's go to Hebangchun. Mm -hmm. And let's go to Hipjiro. And that kind of places. What's Hipjiro? Oh. <laughs> I told you I'm outdated. <laughs> so, Uljiro, like, Uljiro Samga, I think. Mm -hmm. or, what do you do there? What's famous there? There's like a lot of, it just looks like a old store. However, if you go inside, it's, it's like, like vintage. A, it's like a cafe. Oh. It's like a restaurant. That kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You would never, like, looking from the outside, you could never think that it would be a hip, like, cutesy cafe. Is it like a uh, Iksondong? Yeah. Hanok, it looks like a Hanok, but when you go inside, it's a fancy cafe. Oh, it's actually, um, you know how, like, Iksondong, like, outside, it's Hanok and it's giving, like, fancy schmancy? I love yeah. Iksondong. But for Uljiro, it's like, it's giving construction. But inside, it's like, isn't uh, Songsudong kind of like that too? Yes, sort of like famous. That. But Ujiro is more like construction. Oh, it's, yeah, it's giving more <laughs> construction. It's like raw. Uh -huh. so, yeah. hmm. <laughs> I mean, local uh, spots are the best. Yeah, local spots are yeah. the best. Because we all know where the tourist mm -hmm. tea places are, yeah. like Dongbaemun, Myeongdong, so and so. Mm -hmm. But we want to know the local spots. Yeah, yeah. so Hebangchun. I would recommend Hebangchun. Hebangchun in uh, Itaewon. In Itaewon, yeah. Take a bus. It, you'll you don't have to walk all the way up, so it's good. And there's Namsan, and you can see the view. Yeah. You can take nice pictures. Yoido is nice too. We're in yeah. Yoido right now. Mm -hmm. There are really cool malls yes. around here in the park, Yoido Park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or is that a tourist spot? Oh, too? no, no, it's not. It's not <laughs> because everyone's asking, what's in Yoido? So I'm like, oh, ah. there's a huge mall. You know, you, it, like on days like today with mm. rainy weather, I think it's perfect to go, to go inside. So. But I was so sad to see this morning that the uh, flo cherry blossom trees were already all gone. Oh, yeah. They all mm. turned green. Yeah. It was pink last week and now it's all green. I'm like, yeah. oh, already? Yeah. So fast. Ah. Oh. So sad, but yes, and uh, oh, it's already, uh, we're already running out of time. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So this happens all the mm -hmm. time. Whenever we have a guest, mm -hmm. time <laughs> goes by so quickly. Now, I can't believe it's already time to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming and sh for sharing your good vibes with us today. Thank you for inviting yes. me. <laughs> I had so much fun and I hope you did too. Mm -hmm. Totally. Have a wonderful Monday mm -hmm. and bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.